I keep saying episode, like this is some kind of show, although it is a weekly, I guess it is an episode. Anyway. <laughs> just me and today I am here with beverages. For those of you who are new around here, I unbox three separate Japanese snack subscription boxes. It's very niche and I'm not sure how I got here, but this is my life now. So the boxes that I unbox are something called Boxu. It's the name of the box. I didn't name it. Something called Sakurako, and something called Tokyo Treat. All of these boxes come with beverages, so instead of trying the drinks when I open the box, especially the Tokyo Treat one because it's usually like a soda or juice or something, and beverages taste different at different temperatures. It's really not fair to test something that's room temperature and then say that I don't like it when I would have liked it if it was cold, right? So, I save them all up and I do them in one episode video. So before we get much further, this is Jen. She will be purring in the background. Alright, um, I guess we'll start with the oldest one. This is from April's Boxu. I'm pretty sure it's April's Boxu. Every box who comes with a tea so far. Um, not affiliated, not associated for any of these boxes. Nobody is paying me or sending me free stuff. This is all my money and my opinion. And second disclaimer, I have something called dysgraphia. It's dyslexia, but it also affects numbers and patterns. So yes, I can be dyslexic in kanji and reading is difficult. There are descriptions of what these are, and I'm going to try to read them, but please bear with me. Okay, first thing is... Set... Set... Su... Marche... Sakura Sakura Green Tea. This is right there. So beyond that, the information is that this seasonally limited tea is only available in the spring. Ryokucha green tea from oh lordy. Um, you'd think by now I would know how to read the English of the Japanese, but it's just, it's just not happening. Scented with Japanese sakura leaves for a floral fragrance over the fresh flavor of the tea. I'm gonna hold this up for you guys to read it yourselves if you'd like. If, if my stumblings aren't informative enough. Basically, what I get from this is that it's green tea with some sakura flowers in it so that it tastes like sakura, or smells like sakura. There are brewing instructions, but I'm probably not going to follow them. I'm just going to put it in a mug with some hot water and make tea. I'm going to be doing this to all of them, though, so... Next up is the tea from May's Sakurako. Where are you, tea from Mesa Curico? Here you are. So this is Sakura Sensha Tea. Sensha is a Japanese green tea, and its flavor comes from brewing tea leaves as opposed to tea powder like matcha, okay? It is a spring exclusive tea, so what I get from that is that this is probably also green tea with some sakura in it so that it tastes slash smells like sakura. 
Sakura, for anyone who doesn't know, is not only a name, but it's also uh, the word for cherry blossom. Uh, yeah, so these should taste like cherry blossoms, or at very least smell like it. Um, the last of the beverages I actually don't have down here. It's upstairs in the fridge because I'm going to go brew these teas, so I was going to grab it then. Anyway, it is Cheerio Kiss Choco Mint Soda. From what I understand, it's a chocolate mint soda. Uh, Japan's first ever chocolate mint soda. With the sweet and fresh flavor and emerald blue color, seasonal exclusive is perfect for a celebration. And they're celebrating their sixth birthday. The final thing that I have that I, it's kind of a beverage, it's kind of a DIY, it's apparently porridge. It is this. Fuku Ruko Shiruko. Inside this blowfish shaped Monaco wafer, uh, you will find a mochi surprise and instant shiruko, which is a sweet bean and mochi porridge. So I'm going to do that. I don't think it's supposed to be quite as mangled as it is, but I'll make that look pretty when I put it in a bowl. Which brings me to the bowl that I'm going to use for this. I also got in a Sakurako. It's this fancy bowl right here. So there is all of that. So the only thing left to do is to actually make the tea. And I'm gonna try to get some neat shots of this, and I apologize profusely for the annoying duty-free music that is kind of the only thing I can use, but I don't really know how to control the volume, so it's going to be really loud and really obnoxious, and I'm sorry, but here it is. Hopefully, it's visually appealing enough to warrant the music. fish thing was probably more impressive if the top and bottom hadn't already been broken out but that's still pretty cool it looked pretty cool and yeah let's go ahead and start with the cold beverage so that I don't burn my mouth this is Cheerio Kiss Choco Mint Soda like I said, it is Japan's first chocolate mint soda, apparently. Oh, oh, is it gonna do the thing? Is it gonna... Yeah, can you see it? I need a piece of black paper to have over here. Anyway. <laughs> I like the... I like the mist that happens. That is pretty. It's actually not too far off in color on camera either. Hmm. Okay. It smells minty. It looks like Listerine meth wash. Huh. 
I'm surprised how clearly the chocolate is coming through. Mm -hmm. I was expecting this to be much mintier, but the chocolate is very... It's not overpowering, but it's definitely there. And the mint is really light, like it's not like a... It's not like a peppermint, necessarily. I really like it. It's carbonated, obviously, because it's pop, but it's not like the biting kind of carbonation. It's just like a nice reminder that you're drinking a soda. <laughs> That's really good. I would recommend trying that if you ever get a chance. I'm definitely finishing that. So yes, that was delicious, and I'm going to finish it. And, like I said before, I am truly surprised that the chocolate came through so clearly. I was really expecting to just like a big old mouthful of mint, but... Mm -mm. Nice and light and... Balanced. Mm. Okay, next up... Let's try the... Sakura Ko Sakura Sencha Tea. You leave in? Want me to open the door? There you go, Livy. Okay, where was I? Um, Sakura Sencha Tea. So this is green tea with Sakura in it. It looks like green tea. I have done nothing to this. I took hot water and poured it over the tea bag and left it for about a minute, as per the brewing instructions. It smells very... like garden-y. It's like that chlorophyll smell of the tea and like that light sakura floral mm. okay let's actually taste it This is unfortunately underwhelming. It just tastes like green tea. Yeah, it smells very floral, but it just tastes like green tea. Hmm. Hmm. That was relatively disappointing. I apologize for all of the sounds that you were about to hear. My partner is coming home, and the front door is right there, and I can't stop because it's going to cool down. And letting the tea cool down defeats the whole purpose of having to taste things when they're at optimal temperature. So I apologize for the sounds. And we're moving on to the... Setsu March A Setsu March Napsakura nah, Sakura Green Tea. It looks exactly the same. It smells slightly sweeter than the last one. But not like a cherry kind of sweet. Almost like, like hay, like fresh hay, or timothy grass. And 
it tastes. It tastes kind of how it smells. Sweeter though, like, I don't know. Everything about this particular tea seems sweeter than the other one, but there's no, there's no like floral necessarily, there's, there's no like obvious cherry flavor. Yeah, this one just tastes like tea. Sweeter tea than that tea, but it still just tastes like tea. Nothing in either of those teas was particularly sucre-y. They're both very nice. They're like light, nice green teas. They taste very planty, but in a good way. And I don't know. I'm underwhelmed. Sadly. Moving on to the very last thing I am excited about. It is. No, not that one. This one. Fukuruko Shirugo. It is. A Manaka wafer with instant sweet red bean and mochi porridge. It's very hot. The bowl is hot. Um, so here's the... I gave you the overhead when I was making it. It smells... Okay. It smells like if you took this snack and melted it. It smells like Monaco wafer. It smells like red bean. It smells like rice. I didn't bring chopsticks because I'm a loser. I have, I have a spoon. So let's see here. We've got fascinating. So there's like a chunk of mochi. Interesting. I guess these are little mochis. Okay. Let's try to get some actual beans. Hmm. Some of the, uh, the wafer. Hmm. That's an interesting texture. I'm not really sure what to compare that to. It tastes very much like red bean. So the wafer's like slimy, but also chewy in a way that I cannot explain. Like, you ever take a pork rind and rehydrate it in soup? That's kind of what this tastes like, but without any kind of pork flavor. It tastes like the soup around it, so it tastes like red bean. But it textures like rehydrated, yeah, 
rehydrated something. <laughs> now I'm going to take a bite of this mochi. I really guess I should have had chopsticks for this. I like mochi. I like how it's stretchy. I like how it's sticky. I like how it tastes like nothing. Mm. Yeah, it just tastes like mochi. Like, um, mochi is pounded rice flour. So, mochi tastes like rice. <laughs> Not particularly strong. I think these little, these little white bits, I'm pretty sure, are uh, little bits of mochi. I don't know if you can see those. Okay. I'm going to finish this. But first I'm going to finish this video. So that was the drink from May's Tokyo Treat, the tea from May's Sakurako, the tea from April's Boxu, and this fish-shaped porridge thing, also from Sakurako. Um, yeah. The teas were strongly disappointing. They tasted basically the same, except that the Setsu Marche or whatever, um, it was sweeter than the Sakura Sencha tea, but they tasted basically the same. Very strongly of vegetable, like not vegetable, but very strongly of like vegetation. Um, not very floral, not very cherry, like I got no cherry in either of those. Um, this is awesome. And this porridge is just, it's delicious. I want more of this. <laughs> Ta-da! Um, guess that's everything. The only thing left to say is, like this if you like this, comment anything you want to say, subscribe for new videos once a week, uh, and obviously they're going to be unboxing videos. Sometimes they're just random videos, but mostly I unbox this now. I said this this is my life now so like comment subscribe hit the notification bell give up on the notification bell and just follow me on social media links below if I remembered I probably didn't remember and thank you so much for watching bye crap I can't take a thumbnail Yes, I can be dyslexic in kanji. Dyslexic? Yep, that kind of day.